hi there Ovi here so in this video we are going to make a breakpoint observer in react right from scratch so we are in the app.js and here i am making a json object that is an object with uh, uh, of the name breakpoints that will contain the media queries and for each media query i will give a key or a name that is for mobile it will have a media query for tablet it will have different media query for laptop it will have the different media query and for desktop as well then I will add the state of name break breakpoint and the state changer to is breakpoint and then I will add an use effect and the, in this use effect we will call the breakpoint observer function which I am going to define very soon. So in this breakpoint observer function we will pass a breakpoints array and we will also pass the is breakpoint that is used to change the breakpoint or set the breakpoint in the state okay set state function um, uh, more precise to be more precise it will work as a set state function okay. So then I will limit it using the breakpoint in the area of this uh, use effect. So we will be con conditionally rendering the, for the h1 tags with uh, the class name heading and a different value for h1s uh, for different screen sizes for mobile mobile it, uh, for tablet it will render tablet laptop for laptop uh, screen size and desktop for desktop screen size precisely and then I will make the breakpoint observer function here I will make a match media query function which will be used to match the breakpoints and we will also match the breakpoints on the startup of the website and also every time the window size resizes okay so let's make the match media query function and also notice that match media query function will take breakpoints array and also the set breakpoint which is the is breakpoint passed from the uh, app.js okay the, uh, here i will make the object dot keys breakpoint that will return the array of keys of the object passed the object we made pre previously in breakpoints we will uh, take the keys of the object and then we will make an array of that as you can see here 0 1 2 3 and the length of 4 there is an array passing uh, by object dot keys okay of the all the keys that were passed in the breakpoints uh, object okay so I will loop through the object.keys using the for oof loop and we will uh, um, loop them and for each loop uh, right now I am going to pass the uh, value as well uh, to console log the value so that you can understand for C you can see that for every key there is a value being passed out that is the name for every name there is a media query of that object passed out okay so like this way we will be using that, that to match the media queries so now comes the main part where the window dot match media matches the media query and dot matches will return the boolean so here i am passing the media query uh, as the value of the key and then it will match the media query the window will match the media query that is a built-in function of window of javascript uh, that will match the media query and will return whether it matches true or false if it is true then we will uh, set the breakpoint of the um, set the breakpoint in the app.js the breakpoint we will set that breakpoint to the um, uh, key okay that is if it matches the mobile then it will make the set the breakpoint to mobile media query if it matches the laptop media query then it will set the breakpoint to laptop if it uh, matches the media query of desktop or tablet it will set the breakpoint to desktop or tablet okay so now we can uh, see how it is working and it's working absolutely fine by this uh, you can see that every time we are changing it is actually changing so that is something we could use So now I will do another stuff that is setting how to conditionally render a class name or um, the style how to conditionally make them okay so for breakpoint it, triple equal to mobile it will have something for breakpoint triple equal to tablet it will have something like this okay it can be used for st style also and here we can um, we are using different classes so every class have different font family as you can see and then you can see that every class is having a different font families and they are changing as usual you can change the style of that also as well okay every time the window resizes you can make it smaller or you can make it bigger as 
so this is something that can be useful to you whether you are making a large complex project or for a small project also but mainly for a complex project this can be very helpful to you if you are benefited from this video do leave a like and comment on this video and let me know your feedback please share this video with others with your friends on social media anywhere if you think this video is helpful to you and please please do subscribe to my channel if you are benefited from this uh, video then you can get more and more content like this otherwise thank you for watching this video and for my subscribers thank you for supporting me thank you